I'm going to try not to fangirl Francis, so please forgive me if I do a little bit. Firstly, it's so nice to have an international cast that's most, both, both British and American, black and white. Sometimes Shakespeare can almost go over people's heads, and I have a really young audience, and I always think it's good for us all to enjoy everything, so I hope having such a diverse cast allows that to happen with the film. My question is to you, Francis. You are somebody that means a lot to us, definitely for me as a young woman in the industry. A lot of times we have to conform, fit in, and get along to be seen or heard. And when you're creative and you're different and you stick out like a sore thumb, it can be really uncomfortable. But then we have someone like you who does your own thing, does it wonderfully, has your privacy, but also rocks out in film and in theatre. I'm wondering, are there any lessons, are there any things that you can give to us? Because sometimes it is bloody tough in this industry. Thank you. All right, so here you go, go like this. Hey, go like that. No, with your shirt. Go like that. I like it, I like it, but put it back on your shoulder. Let's see what that's like. Nice, love it. Working it all right here. I'm not really happy with this. You see that little thing right there? But if I stand differently, look, I have problems with my body. We all do. I don't like everything about myself. I hate my voice. I hear my voice. I worked really hard to get my hair back. Why? Doesn't really make any difference. <laughs> there, there's so much about, I don't want to be anybody's role model when it comes to that because we all, we struggle. You struggle every day, you struggle. You have to look around. It's not any easier for men than it is for women. I watched my son, is who's 27, grow up as a man. It's not that easy, right? But that's our job. That's our job, isn't it? Bruno, Catherine, we're their elders. We're your elders. That's our job. So if we don't look like someone you can count on, right, it's kind of like when you see, it's like if, you, if the house is on fire and you need a fire extinguisher, you, most of us know it's red. It's about this big, and it's usually tucked under the sink somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. But if you need it to put out the fire, if you need help from an elder, you've got to be able to recognize us. So if we look like you, you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to find us. Mm. So it's really important that we keep hold of that arc of continuity with human species, mm. right? It's our job. So I'm really, really happy that you feel that way about me, but I also feel like it's our job. It's just our job. And not to think that it's easy, ever, right? But, so here we go. This is part of it. And I think that the story we've told in this production is part of that too. And the fact that we did it together is a part of that story, right? The fact that Denzel and I were part of the story. But I think when, when I really like to talk about the diversity in terms of uh, we are very, much more diverse than just black and white. We are British speakers, we are Scots, Irish, South African, American, uh, who, we, we, have other, we have other dialects in our, we've got DC, we've got mid, mid, you know, Midwestern America. Irish. We've got a lot of different sounds going on that make us a much more complicated and interesting uh, uh, company in so many different ways. Now, there was a disembodied plan that was a